Okay, so we are in Chiribon and we just made it to the Batica. Got a room booked here, gonna show you stuff. All different price ranges while we're traveling in the Nija. Already searched something really cheap. I got a room in here for about 725,000 Indonesian rupees. And I had to stop at the end of my... I had to stop and get this right here. It's been my addiction. So at the Indomart Freshes, the coffee, the gula jawa or the palm sugar, iced latte. It's my addiction. No, just say no. <laughs> <laughs> just say no. <laughs> oh, coffee ready. Oh, yeah, 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 so, no problem. We're just gonna have to go back to uh, Indomart Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Ari in the Superior. I'm in the suite. We're gonna check it out. Six eight. Six ten. Oh, it's a heavy door. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it is spacious. Wow. Yeah. Is that something for... Oh, man. Way too much room for one person. <laughs> <laughs> Can have party. I know. Yeah, we got like 10 people in here. Yeah. All right. So I'll see you later. Okay. See ya. Nice you too. But first, let's check out the room. I'm going to take my shoes off. I do not like having shoes on in the room here. Oh, okay, first things first, let's take care of my mess. Y'all saw we, <laughs> we spilt this. I guess we'll start in the bathroom. I like full body mirror here, that's nice. Is this something? I feel like it is. Anyways, take care of this, crack the cup and everything. Let that drain. Um, didn't want to just throw it in the trash because I'm somebody that's worked in customer service, food and beverage anyways. If people throw liquids in the trash, you're not good people. So, let's check it out. Look at this. Is this actually a closet? Yes, it is. How does this one open? Ah, oh, right here. That's nice. I, I like the way it blends in. I like the texture from this. It smells really nice, too. Wow. Nice smelling. Um, doors. Bathroom, pretty nice. A little bit of damage, but it's big. It's spacious. Uh, I'm okay with that. Got a little protector here so that means you don't get like all the water so when you're trying to use the bathroom you know you're taking a deuce or whatever you got your feet in water i like that no bum gun is this there's no bum gun in here what oh wait no the bum gun is smarter than me that's what it is check it out this is the bum gun i think Oh, <laughs> oops, that's, that's Japanese technology, Toto, yeah, it's Japanese. Got a shower, shampoo, shower, pull apart, I dig this. You can make it taller if you need to, or you can kind of do your own thing, I appreciate that. Very basic though, not <laughs> kind of dark in here. Uh, lighting, Light, actually these right here, Make the lighting real nice, like I'm looking at this. Good stuff, fresh water, it's in the bathroom. Put my toothbrush in there later. Soap, comb shaver, I need to be a little scruffy. We always looking scruffy, y'all. We, I'll be honest with you, we looking rougher and rougher. The more you travel, the more I just don't even care. <laughs> um, let's keep moving it on. The lighting's kind of weird in here. Huge space though, I guess I should. Do what this is used for. This would be perfect. I love this. Great for working. Great chair. Look at this action here. Look, ooh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, Raleigh. Plenty of room to go under and in and work and not just like lean over. Oh. Imagine with me, we're working, boom, just finished the video. Drinks. 
go ahead and get our stuff put up. Oops. Not very cold, not very big. Oh, does it closes? Okay. We're just empty. I don't know. I'm not gonna keep going through all the empty stuff here. Um, lots of space for me to sit here and talk to my friends I don't have. And then, man, this one's look at this. The flower, I think, right? Is that a flower? Looks like a flower to me. I do like, I think I can turn, can I turn these other lights off and just have this lit? It'd be great for me at night, watching some Netflix alone. Oh yeah, wait, not what I wanted. I want like, maybe get the AC going here. Mm, maybe later I'll figure it out. But everything's nice, it's comfy. Let's try the bed out. Oh. A little firmer than I expected. Pillars are nice, actually firm. Hold your head up. This is what you would look at. I gotta say for the price I paid, I mean, it's a small city. A little underwhelming, but honestly, I didn't need anything else. I don't really need anything this big or this fancy. I should have just gone with a smaller room. I just wanted to do this to see what you get. Let's check out the view. Oh, the view's nice. See small city. I love the orange roofs mixing with the greenery, the forest station. Look at the volcano in the background. Beautiful little scenery right here. That's nice. I mean, if you don't look here, you gotta look further out into the distance. You gotta look far into the future. <laughs> but it's it's nice. I like the I like the volcano here. Clouds kind of the way right now. I'm a simple person though. Like I don't need much. This is honestly too much for me. And before I go to the gym, look at that download speed, 24.81. That is cooking. That is eight times faster than other download, or sorry, upload six, six megabytes per second. That ain't bad. I got some videos I need to upload, so it looks like we're going to do it here. Man, woo, that YouTube be cranking and coming in though. Sorry, I already got my gym attire on. Shirt, made it myself, cut myself if you want to know the designer brand. Cheap shirt cut by me, hat on, short shorts on. About to go check out the gym, y'all. So let's check it out, get a little workout in. And. Hi. Okay, so when I travel, I tend to do more, like, if you're in nice hotels, you can get some weights and stuff like that. I hate treadmills with passion. I'm a runner by heart. So I wake up in the mornings, I go for runs. I uh, didn't do anything today, so I just want to get in here, kind of move a little bit. I want to get out here, walk a little bit. That ain't nothing. I mean, 10, 10, 10 kgs. That ain't nothing for me. <laughs> Not trying to flex or anything, but you just got a little bench here. That ain't nothing to really do anything with. So I'm just going to kind of walk, work up an appetite. My thing is, like, I wake up real early in the morning, and I go for runs. So I was kind of hoping to get a little... Resistance work in here that won't work. We're gonna have to do some body weight stuff. Um, not even much yet. So we've come over here to the market. We're gonna explore it more tomorrow morning, but we just came here for one dish right now the tahu. Get drunk. Get drunk. Get I knew I said it wrong. At least Get I knew it. Get 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 this right here came here just this afternoon to have this. Got a lady, it looks like she's making it now. Two pedas. Sorry, it's afternoon. Is it still afternoon? Yeah. <laughs> you said after three, it was okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like 4.30 now. Yeah. Well, so sore this afternoon. Sore, so yeah. still sore. Selamat sore. Selamat sore. Pesan tahu gejrok dua. Yeah. Pedas ya. Pedas. How long she been selling in this market for? Uh, dari tahun berapa bu? Dia jualan. Ah, uh, tahun. Panoman. Ya, kurang lebih tahun. Tidak tahu ni. Long time. Long time. <laughs> I understand that. I don't even know the language, but I know which is like a long time. Did you get some green chilies and shallots? 
Okay. Get across that up. Please see she's already fried that up. Is that like soy sauce based? Soy sauce and uh, tamarind uh. and pop sugar. Uh, you do it with the toothpick. Look at this. Oh, we got a little clay pot too. You get your own little clay pot here. Oh, look at that. That, that tofu is just acting like a sponge. It's soaking all that up. What I've kind of noticed about the city, and I'm, I'm sure it's other cities in Indonesia as well, is a lot of things come from the, the village and they kind of work their way into the city. Look at this, let's get a, let's get a green chili on there. Soak it just a little bit. Whoa. Has something been fermented in it? Yeah, Man, there's, there, there's definitely the soy sauce, there's definitely tamarind, but there is this, this like fermented, like funky flavor coming from it, which I was not expecting at all. That's yeah, that's what I thought, it's fermented tofu, right? Yeah. The tofu is slightly fermented. So, when I took a bite of it, I had just like, flashbacks to my Hong Kong and Taiwanese days because we what's called stinky tofu and it's fermented tofu and that's a strong tofu I mean it's fermented yeah you can smell it, it smells a little bit <laughs> almost like a little bit rotten mm. Mm. Uh, she's famous here. Very famous. <laughs> you can tell it's fermented tofu because the flies don't want to stay with it. It's not that sweet at all, but it's that fermentation. The flies are like coming over here like crazy. You show me. Had some uh, famous actors come here. Mm. Okay, that was ten thousand just for that. That was delicious. And she's really famous. She's had like a lot of celebrities come over here. Teramakasi Busaleb. Busaleb. Everybody keeps getting me with their English here, but she's super famous. She was showing us, I guess you saw it already on this, but she's had like celebrities and some people come here. Just a small little stall. Look at that. Right in the corner. Cars coming in here, rolling in here. They get in here and try this. Pack for some to go. And that's the secret sauce right there. Papa John. Punch a number. I don't know. <laughs> Enak. Oh, this. Mantap. Mantap. Toho. Mantap. Godro. Godro. Mantap. Mantap. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. I'm embarrassed because. Oh, I wish I could speak more. She spoke to me and I got really embarrassed. Yeah. I don't know what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last stop for food, going for the bubur soap ayam. So, got the, I guess it's gonna be the porridge and soup with chicken. Chicken and then gizzard and then liver. Uh -huh. Also has all parts of the chicken. Yes. Is it gonna be in like a, a porridge or more of like a soup? Like a porridge. Okay. Yeah, the name is like soup. Bubur sop, but it's, uh, the consistency is more like a porridge. Okay. And this is something you could only really find here in Chiribon. Hi. Hi. The uh, way I know is because right here, Kas Chiribon. This means like uh, Chiribon original or kind of like something that's like originally from here. I don't really know how to translate it that well, but I know like it's a staple here. You got to try it. And we are at a spot right now. So they sit up at night. They're still setting up stalls. We still got family over here hanging out. Babysitting a little bit. They're setting up the flags. We're gonna let them set up a little bit and then we'll get in here and try a bowl of this. So you actually have to like slap it around. Slap it around your foot, uh, your, yeah. like your grow back like this. 
And what's it called? Like Gladys? Bang Laris. Bang Gladys. It's for like good luck for something. Yeah, good luck, good luck. Uh, what is uh, the term in English? You say like but hang. But hang. That's but yeah, hang. same. So concept. like first customer. Yeah. Okay. So in Vietnam, there's like a believing like your first customer can determine your whole day, and they have it here in Indonesia too. So if the first customer's good, the rest of the day will be good. If the first customer's bad, the rest of the day will be bad. So looks like we're gonna be first. Panglaris. We gotta we gotta slap the money around and we gotta give them a good day. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's the rice. Look at that. that. That's not at all what I was expecting. That's just like, kind of looks just like wet rice. Not quite porgy. A little cabbage here. Oh, is that potato? Yeah. Uh, it is potato. Noodle. Looks like scallions. Oh, now a little spicy satay. Oh, sambal. Oh, sambal. Oh, sambal. Okay, so you get the fermented soy going. Yeah. Sambal, have okay. The Black pepper, Black pepper, MSG salt. I like this guy, he's very precise with his portions. And then lots of shredded chicken. A big portion. Top it with the crunchy soybean and also the shallot, crispy shallot. Okay. I'm kind of amazed this is only 25. Like, I know you're getting kid bone and like the prices get cheaper, but 25 for it's almost been like everything today. And it's had a lot of food, like food that's that sit with you. Let's go, let's try this out. I don't know what to get. I think I'm gonna try to get a big chunk of that rice. Everything's been fried, some chicken, a gizzard, a massive bite. You get the fermented soy flavor in it? I don't think I got in there enough for the fermented soy. For me, it tastes like a down hearty, really black pepper heavy, just chicken soup. But with the rice porridge instead of maybe like a, a pasta egg noodle or something like that. Let's see if I can work in here and get more of that fermented soybean and some of the gizzard. Yeah, try to get in there and more of those flavor profiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is completely different when you get in that fermented soybean. Gizzard's done just right. I actually prefer the gizzards and liver to the actual chicken meat. And so there's actually getting more carts here I guess what actually is like a bike repair during the day. More people are coming around. We'll set up. This is the main thing they come for. Overall, not for me, but I feel like it'd be very nostalgic for many people. It's, it's the, a chicken broth. There's just something about chicken broth. It's very nostalgic. And then you get the rice in there. It's warming. It's comforting. But then it kind of slaps you with flavor with all the black pepper and the fermented soybean and the dried soybeans and everything going on in it. We got another cas chiribon, nasi jamblang. Now we are at one of the most popular spots, like across the street from a big mall and everything. This is gonna be beautiful because we're going here and you're gonna see it. There's gonna be just a variety, banyak dishes to choose from. So we're gonna get in here. We got the music, it's gonna be kind of loud. So I'll try to make as much video as I can. I definitely just wanna show it to you. We gotta try a little bit of everything here. Do they not have the squid today? Yeah, not a squid today. Oh no. Over the other day. <laughs> you hyped it up all day. All day he's like, I can't wait to show you the squid one. This one is a kerang eba. It's like the clams. Oh clams yeah, satay. that's good. Mm. Lots of lemongrass. Or what is that? Oh, shallot. Shallot, oh, okay, nice. Oh, 
Oh, this is a high wind. That's why the uh, fishermen don't go to sea. Yeah. High wind in the sea. Okay, so they can't get the squid. Yeah. So for this, I noticed everybody's like using spoons though. So they have yeah. use your hands more no. and more of a spoon. Yeah. Why do they do it individually like that? Uh, well, like why do they wrap it? That's the, the the culture and then the original is like, just like that because they uh, used to be roaming around the village. Oh. So they have all wrapped up in the basket like that and they're just roaming around the village oh. to make it uh, last, last longer. So the, the leaves actually is like natural preservative. What type of leaf is it? This is thick leaves. Uh -huh. Down jati, it's thick leaves. And for the sambal, they use. Uh, banana leaves. And you want the potato? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You want to get a potato? Kentang. Kentang. Kentang is potato. Kentang. You want liver? Yeah, I'll do liver, more liver. Ati. Ati. Ati sapi. Ati. Ati sapi yeah. is going to be the beef liver. He's such a showman. Look at him. He brought it over here for us. Kentang sama tempe. So let's go for that skip jack tuna right at the beginning. It is really red. That's skipjack. When you get that sauce in there, it's got a lot of chilies in it as well. Oh. But it doesn't matter because that skipjack tuna is just so naturally sweet. It tastes like they marinated it. Something has got like a little bit of umami flavor to it. A little sugar, a little soy sauce, but it's thin chili and oil in that sauce. Three sambal packets plus that. It's going to be punchy in the face. This right here, that might be my favorite thing I've eaten today. Yeah. That's pretty up there. Yeah. The skipjack tuna? Yes. Mm. I want to go ahead and get the liver with the beef. It's good, but that skipjack tuna, when you're right here on the coast, star of the show. Just give me a little bit of salted fish. What type of fish is it? Jambal is, uh, I'm not sure the name. It's uh, almost like a uh, oh. mackerel. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very salty, very tinged, like fish jerky. Look at these potatoes. These look perfect. Looks like they've been roasted, almost like a new potato, like a baby potato. Oh, it's sorry. close, it's ini. It's close. Ini, okay, ini, ini. Satu ini, okay. <laughs> and satu ini. It's not just the honesty thing, you forget how big your eyes are before you eat. You forgot one thing. No, I told him, I said ini. Oh, udah, udah, dia udah. That was an experience, more than just a meal. It's the people here, that's why it's so famous. It's uh, only 117. Oh, for everybody. For every four of us, 117. That's a good way to end the food tour. And uh, well, it wasn't even a food tour day, but, but we've turned it into it. We'll see you in the morning at the market.